Did you know that you can use your Asus router in standalone mode without your PC to download and see torrent files? Let me show you how. The requirements for this is to have an Asus router that has a USB port and also that has Asus WRT firmware. It's preferable, of course, to update the firmware always. And also you need a USB drive. So now I'm gonna insert this USB drive into my Asus RT AXE7800 router. Now that the drive is installed, we need to log in to the Asus Router's admin page. In your web browser, go to asusrouter.com and log in to Asus admin page. On the left, you have the menu. Click on USB application. And on the bottom, you have something called Download Master. Click on Install on it. And here, it will detect the USB drive. You need to select it so that to install the utilities from Asus website. And this will be done automatically for you. So here, it will take approximately a couple of minutes to install these utilities. I'm going to fast forward this video to when the installation is finished. When the installation is finished, you will have this menu. So here you have these links. The first link is to launch the download master and you have these help links if you want to look them up. And this one is to install a utility on your Windows PC. I'm not going to cover the utility on the Windows PC because it defies the standalone like uh, method that I want to show you. So here instead of launching download master from this menu, I'm going to simulate that you logged into the router afterwards. And then you click on USB application and you found on the bottom now that under download master you have uninstall in case you want to uninstall it, disable it, check update and help. And if you click on it here, it will open as if you clicked on the link in the previous menu. So I'm going to click on it here. So this will take you directly to the download master. I'm going to log in here using my administration username and password. And when you log in, this is the download master web page. I'm gonna take you through it here and I'm gonna cover in this video the BitTorrent option only. So let me show you the settings first. So click on general under settings. So the first option, notice on the top here, you have immediately download or schedule time. If you click on schedule time, you can schedule your download. Here I'm gonna keep it on immediately. And then you have here download to. So this is a folder that was created automatically on the USB drive. I'm gonna keep it by default. By default, it is under download to. So it created a folder called download to and then complete. Now, there is also the refresh rate. I'm going to leave it by default and I'm going to leave also the ports by default. And here you have something called One Network. If you enable it, it will create a DDNS for you. And this way you can access the download master from outside your local network. If you want to enable this option here, make sure to secure your ASUS router. I have made previously a video about how to secure your ASUS router. I do not advise you to enable it because it will open your router to outside access. And here you have on the bottom, keep seeding after task complete in case after you download the torrent, you want to keep it seeding for other users. So here, if you change something, click on apply. Here we didn't change anything. I'm going to show you the BitTorrent now setting. So here I'm going to leave everything by default except the speed limits. And this is an important option in case you don't want your router to monopolize all your uh, bandwidth to download or to seed the files you download. So here under speed limits, if you want to limit the download and the upload speed, uncheck unlimited and then put the number you want. Let's say here I want to put like 1000 kilobytes per second. And then for the upload speed, I don't want it to exceed 10 kilobytes per second. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to leave it at 10 kbps. And here for all the other options, I'm going to leave them as default and then I'm going to click on apply. So here our options are finished. Now I'm going to take you to task and here you can add the torrents you want to download. And of course, always download legal torrents. So here I'm going to download the Kali torrent, which is the Linux operating system. So I'm going to open a new tab here and then I'm going to go to Kali.org and here I'm going to click on download. And then let's choose the virtual machines. This is, of course, only an example for you to see how to download. So here under virtual machines, I'm going to choose randomly. So I'm going to choose virtual box. And you notice that you have torrent here. So if you click on torrent, it will download the torrent file. We're going to save the torrent file and I'm going to show you how to use it in download master. So let's click on save here. It will save it in the downloads folder. So let's go back to download master. Now you need to add the torrent file to your router. So click on add here. You have two options to add it. Either you add a downloaded file 
or you add the URL directly. If you want to add the URL, what you need to do is you come here and then you right click torrent and then choose copy link and then you paste the URL here. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to choose the torrent file. So I'm going to click on choose file and I'm going to go to the downloads folder and this is the torrent file and I'm going to select it and click on open and then I'm going to click on apply. So as soon as I click on apply, the torrent will start downloading. And of course, this download has nothing to do with your PC. So now you can turn off your PC. And for instance, if you schedule the download, it will download afterwards on your router directly without interfering with your PC. So now I'm going to fast forward this video to when this download is finished to show you how to manage the downloaded file and how to access it if you want to access it from your PC also. Now the file finished downloading and you notice that it is seeding and you have all these options here to manage it. So you need to select it and then you can manage it. For instance, you can remove it, you can pause it and you can clear the task. Now to access this file, of course, you can remove the USB drive and just put it in your PC and copy the file. Or you can also access it from the network if you shared your USB drive. If you want to see how to share your USB drive that is on your ASUS router, I've made a complete video on this. If I want to include this here, this video will be very long. So you can check my video in the description below. So here I'm going to show you how to access it from my Windows PC. You need to open File Explorer on the Windows PC and then go to Network. And under Network, if you shared your USB drive on your router, you're going to see your router's name here. Simply double click on it. And this is a download to folder. Remember, I told you it created automatically this folder here. So double click on it and you're going to find the file under the complete folder. And here you can copy it to your PC. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.